Are mom jeans for short and curvy girls like me? I've asked myself this question for the longest time and today we'll get the answer. Since I'm short, curvy, I have a small waist, a thick legs and a bit of a booty to say the least, I usually stick to high-waisted skinny jeans. This jeans type makes me look taller but also slimmer. But lately I've wanted to expand my jeans options a little bit and also experiment a little and I have. I have added the white leg jeans to my collection. But what about mom jeans? I don't know, I feel intimidated by these jeans for some reason and I've always stayed away. But today I'm gonna try a few out for you guys and we're gonna decide together if mom jeans are for petite girls. I have five pair of jeans from a Goldie, Levi's and Zara. Okay, let's start off with Levi's. I'm never disappointed by their jeans. They usually fit me perfectly from the get-go so without any need for tailoring. So let's see if that's true for also their looser fit kind of jeans. I got this one. This is a 501 original cropped patched jeans. <laughs> Super long name, but I got it in a size 27 and this jeans has a rise of 8.25 inches. It has an inseam of 30 inches and it's 100% cotton. By the way, you guys, I'll link all the jeans in the description box below so you can shop for yourself. It says that it has a 8.25 rise, but I think it's pretty high up uh, either way. So I love that. For this one, I could go for a size higher because what I don't like is that here around the crotch area, it doesn't come up all the way up. I love to fit around my legs and the length is also perfect. The thing that I love the most about this pair is the color and also the distressing that it has around the knee area. So the color and the distressing around the knees, they go just perfectly. It's like a classic Levi's jeans. And it does say cropped in the name of the jeans, but that just shows the fact that, you know, we short girls, that doesn't apply to us. So if you don't like that crop style, don't be scared to buy crop jeans because if you're shorter, they won't look cropped on you anyways. Of course, I can't leave Sara from this try-on haul. I absolutely love their clothes, but for some reason, I don't really have much luck with their jeans. So let's see if that changes today. Ooh, Zara. I'm impressed, you guys. <laughs> This is the jeans in mom fit. That's the name of the jeans and I got it in a size 38. I'm not sure how, what the rise is, but it's pretty good. It's pretty high up and it's 100% organic cotton. I don't know what to say you guys, but I love this. The only downside to this jeans is that I'll have to get it tailored because look at this in the back. You can see there is a huge gap, but to be honest, with all non-stretch jeans, I will always have that problem. The size is perfect, the rise is just phenomenal. It's even higher than the Levi's and it's super comfortable as well. You know how sometimes you feel suffocated in jeans, but this jeans doesn't do that at all. It's like very nice and comfortable, it stays put. So if you're my height, this length of the jeans is perfect for like kitten heels or like mid-high heels. The color and the distressing on this one is pretty much the same as the Levi's, so I'm a fan of that. And the booty, you guys. I think my booty looks way better in this one than the Levi's ones. Okay, so moving on to a Goldie. A Goldie is a new brand for me. I've only heard good things about it. Everyone is raving about how good their jeans are. They are more on the pricey side, so let's see if it's worth it. The first one that I'm going to try out is this 90s mid-rise loose fit. I got it in a size 27 and the rise is 12.5 inches and it has an inseam of 29 inches. This one is also 100% organic cotton. This one is giving me sort of mixed feelings because it's definitely not a mid-rise, which I love. It's a super high rise actually. I'm not super happy with how it fits around my legs. I think it's too 90s. It's, it's like too of an old-fashioned type of fit. It's like an in-between mom jeans and a white leg jeans, which is not, I don't think it's flattering on me. The color is not too bad, although for my taste, it can be just a tiny bit lighter. 
It has the right amount of distressing, so that's totally nice. But again, with this one, it's the same thing around my waist. It doesn't fit properly and it's quite a big gap. So if I decide to keep this one, you know, the tailor will have to take a big chunk out of it to make it fit my waist. And to be honest, you guys, I'm not sure if I'm ready to do that with a pair of jeans that's like 200 plus euros. But I see now in the mirror that the fly, it has a button fly and the fly keeps flapping open or <laughs> I'll show you what I mean. But that's just, I mean, for this price, this type of jeans is not supposed to do that. With regards to the sizing, this is the right size for me. It's very, very comfortable. I can easily sit in it it's not too restrictive or suffocating or anything like that so if you have the same kind of body measurements as i do you can for sure go for the size 27. okay so this is the goldie pinch waist i got it in a size 27 and the rise is 12 inches and the inseam is 29 inches and it's 100 cotton so no stretch from the get-go i can tell you that the size is not my size i will have to size up and for some reason I did manage to close it up but that's why you can see that it's flattening my booty and it's also very suffocating around my waist and my legs and this one is called pinch waist so I expected it to not leave a gap in the back of my waist but even though this jeans is too small for me so I'll have to size up it still leaves a gap in the back I mean their definition of pinch waist is not exactly <laughs> <laughs> like mine. I love the length of these jeans because I can wear them with high heels. What I like about the fit of these ones is that around the legs it has a slight bootleg effect but not quite. So it's like in between a wide leg jeans and a bootleg jeans. Also the color is very nice. It does have that vintage vibe to it but then just in a different way than the previous one the only thing that i wish it has is some distressing this type of jeans so the mom jeans those types of subtle distressing to them is what makes them so cool so a little bit of you know ripping here and there in a very subtle way i love that so in conclusion you guys my verdict about mom jeans for short and curvy and juicy women is approved <laughs> but with a huge disclaimer. I think that for short and curvy girls, it's so hard to find good jeans anyways, but for this type of jeans with no stretch whatsoever, it's even harder. So if you find a good one that you love, I would say, you know, buy two, three of them. Like in this haul, I bought four and none of them fit perfectly. For me, the Zara one was kind of near to perfection. And the Levi's one was also nice, but I think I'll have to size up in that one as well so that it fits nice around the crotch area. But the Agoldi ones, none of them was a success for me. And I don't think it has to do with the material or the quality, but it's just the way it fits. But I won't give up on Agoldi yet. They have so many different kind of styles of jeans, so I think I just have to find the right kind of style for me but i'm super glad that i made this video because now i can add another type of jeans to my collection that's it for this video you guys i hope that you enjoyed it next tuesday i'll have a new video for you and next week i'll be talking about skirts that look flattering on petite short and curvy body frames is it minis maxis midis a-line skirt wrap skirt a plaid skirt, you name it. There are so many types of skirts, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss this. As always, I close with a random question of today so I can get to know you guys better. And today's random question is, what's your favorite dish, your all-time favorite dish that, you know, people can wake you up in the middle of the night and tell you, oh, I have, to, I cooked this for you, and then you'll wake up without you know, with a sort of an attitude. So I'll leave mine in the comments below. Have a great day, you guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.